again, and Marion, uh, Marion's dialing in? Good. We have Marion Blackburn on the phone. I was hoping you would call in, Marion. Of course, Henry. Well, I want to always let, listen to your show. And look, I'm starring this morning. Uh, well, I, I knew that you'd address this tonight, so I'm glad you called in. But I, I, let's clarify something. Your new quote on the WITN story, which is still on the website, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, I never said I never said the story was taken down. I did say the video was taken down. Let me just clear up a couple of things. I don't have a beef with WITN. You have a hard time with Lynette does a <laughs> Lynette does a good job, and um, so don't have any any problem with WITN. We clarified it and moved on. I also don't have supporters that have turned on me. If anything, they've called them in support if they understand what can happen in the press. When well, your comments to me on Friday morning that you were upset that some of your supporters were making negative comments on social media. I was just upset that I had uh, uh, been called out for something that, that I didn't say. That's what I was upset about. I'm reading your quote from your statement. And let me just clarify. Well, wait, you know, well, not let, to get let, too hold on a second. Let me read your when quote. You use the word it this, says, uh, this you're, is a pronoun, and it's an antecedent. <laughs> the thing that I said, you know, we got to make sure, quote, this doesn't happen again. I was referring to the event and the disturbance, not the way it was handled. I've been fully supportive of our chief from the start and our officers. No one was injured. It was a really dangerous situation, and no one was harmed, and it ended peacefully. There were five arrests. That's a successful handling. I just want I, I, can I can I ask you uh, a couple of questions about y your comments on Monday and 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 then your your statement. That that's the thing. And and again, I'm not trying to split hairs. I just want you to own what you said. And the the reality of it is is that you know the you say your comment back now is that you were concerned about the rioting. But you actually were talking about the preparation. Whose preparation were you referring to? Well, and that's a great question, Henry, because there's actually been meetings and a lot of conversations talking about the preparation for Halloween. We've got social media now where you can have a flash mob, hundreds and thousands of people that can gather within minutes. This is a new reality for us when we're trying to handle events like Halloween. Whose preparation been, were you talking about? Us as a community. Everyone, we've got to learn how to prepare for flash mobs that can take place so, in a matter so, of minutes. So, your comment then that you were uh, that 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 no one wants tear gas in their community, and that we've got to be prepared differently. You were talking about the entire community. That we all have to think about these events in a different way. And um, our well, police how, 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 when you say a different way, what what could the police have done differently? Well, because, well, for one thing, we are already using geofencing, which is where you take an area and you monitor all social media having to do with that area. That's a great step. That is so proactive. So we're doing that. But even with that, we still had this disturbance to take place. So what we, what we know now is that if we're going to have a really safe uh, situation downtown, we may have these folks, they come in from out of town, they come in on buses, they come in from faraway places. They are specifically ready to do harm to our community. The chief was telling me some of these folks had uh, dish soap and bottles. They throw that Marion, we're talking we're talking about we're talking about your comments about the use of tear gas. Well, and we're, I'll, don't, and don't I'll change say, don't I'll, change what, 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 don't change the subject. It. Here's the question that I want to ask. In your conversation with Lynette and I've talked to Lynette. She indicated to me that you were saying, you know, look around here. There's Cypress Glen over there. There's a school over there. There could have been children out here. You were talking about the use of tear gas. And then you said concerned. that we had to be prepared in a different way. Clearly, you were questioning what the police had done on Halloween night at that time. Now, now you're coming back and changing your story, which well, I understand, I but that's so the way clearly. it was. I would say not so clearly. What I was concerned about, not and so I did clearly. have that, I was very upset when I talked with Lynette, but I was upset that we had had a disturb disturbance that serious in our community that people from out of town had come in to do harm to our community. So yes, I was very upset about that. I was not upset about the Mary, way our stick police to the chief sub handled it stick to the subject. At all. Stick to the subject. Were you talking about being upset about the police using tear gas? Yes or no? Well, Henry, you know, you simplify something like that. I got to say what I've been saying all along. I was It's upset a very simple question. Were you upset that the police used tear gas? Yes or no? Henry, it's not the right question. Thanks I was for upset calling, Mary. about the disturbance. See, again, again, the, the, that's not the right question because that's not the question you want to answer. I, I think I've spoken, Henry, and I, I think I've been pretty clear. I was upset about the disturbance. I, don't, I think you've been totally and I support unclear. Our police chief. I think you were clear Please. on Monday night, but I think now you're not willing to own your comments. 
I've been supportive of our chief from the start, <laughs> and that hasn't changed. All right, Mary, thanks for calling. Thanks, Henry. And I'm sure now. we'll hear a speech about this tonight at the city council about no, how. No, I think we're over, Henry. I saw your <laughs> clarification you posted and your editorial. I think I think we're we've we've explored this issue, and I think we're over. But I appreciate your giving me a chance to be on the air this morning. Absolutely, anytime. Nice Take to hear care from now. you, Bye. Mary. Just wanted to answer one simple question. She wouldn't answer it.